Interesting thoughts there. Krisha Lenzo back with us, as you've seen her before. She's also a Harvard grad, uh, seeing uh, other, other students, at least current students, now weighing in on this topic. And it seems to have some divided, Krisha. It's very divided, but I think that overall, when you're looking at the Harvard population more generally, while they may be uh, diverse on their face, they're not necessarily diverse in thought. And I think the key issue here is, yes, we need reforms in education, but they need to start at the ground level. The main issue that we've even been discussing is socioeconomics and how that plays a part in people's overall learning. Um, it shouldn't just be, oh, you know, you're a black student and we'll take you versus um, an Asian student versus a white student. It should be based on many other factors, including just general merit, right? You don't want to feel like you're in an institution only because of your race. I think that's also genuinely unfair. Right. I think so as well. And I know we talked about this a little bit off camera, but if you're going to say, hey, we should have something like affirmative action, mm -hmm. shouldn't we maybe start that way earlier? Like make Definitely. sure that as soon as kids are entering into school age, that they are gift given opportunities and given really amazing teachers and the supplies that they need. Because in America right now, in a lot of inner cities, schools don't have the supplies they don't have the teachers. Shouldn't we be focusing on that so that they grow up learning as best as they can as opposed to just starting something right before they enter college? Definitely. I think you make a great point. It has to start way earlier in terms of the access to education. And this is what a lot of candidates run on. And I think where the Democrats have left a lot of their supposed voters behind, um, when you're not looking at how people are uh, growing up in the inner cities or um, elsewhere, I think that they're just really putting people aside and just focusing on ultimately um, not equality of opportunity. It's just it's not right. Christian, if I could bring you in uh, the final question, just uh, your personal experience, mm. if I can. What is the application process like for undergrad uh, at Harvard? Do you, do, you, do you have anything that stands out to you? How grueling was it? It's very rigorous, um, but I think that being said that when you look at the student body more generally, it's uh, not, I, I wasn't always impressed with the student body. I think you, you could kind of tell, mostly with students whose parents were major donors to the school. I think you, it was really apparent why those students were there. And even looking at um, the, the racially diverse students, you could even tell they, they actually, a lot of them, the study was showing, um, they came from very uh, wealthy backgrounds. So that, again, defeats the purpose. So one of the focus <laughs> is off a little bit. On the focus is of, definitely off. Yeah, of, of how that, that works, that process. Either way though reacting there uh, we appreciate that hearing from those on Harvard campus thank you and Chris Lenzo as well we appreciate that a lot of